What's up guys, today has been a complete bust. Well, not really, but today I went to my mate's uh, house, Jack. He uh, was gonna help me try to get my MQC-1 up and running. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the transmitter and the uh, receiver to work together. So, we messed with that for a long time, uploading different uh, firmware and everything, tried like everything, and it wouldn't work out. So I figured, all right, I mentioned something about um, getting a uh, what's it called like a module because I've got a Tyrannus which is that FR Sky transmitter but my tiny whoop is on a DSM2 um, receiver so I was going to get a module for that he said well I've got one so we put his module in this transmitter again and try to get it to work and tried and tried and tried nothing 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 spent loads of time trying to figure out what we we're doing wrong between the two come to find out his module didn't work so we just left it, so I've really gotten nowhere today. Um, so tomorrow I'll be using my old transmitter with the uh, with the tiny whoop, and that's fine. Uh, I'll eventually get the module. Plus, I'm building a new tiny whoop that'll be FR Sky like this one, so that way I don't have to worry about it. But it's not complete loss because now I'm at home and I'm about to fly on Rotor Rush. So if you've never seen Rotor Rush, this is going to be a kind of a tutorial video for that. I am not good at flying uh, on the simulator or in real life. I'm still learning, um, but this software is just really fun. It's four pounds a month, or I think it's probably five something dollars in the states. I'm not sure. Or you can pay outright for it for like 48 pounds a month, or 48 pounds for the year. But there's so much stuff to do on here. It's just so fun. So I'll show you some uh, screen clips and how to navigate through it, and uh, you can make your own decision. But for days like today, you can come home and you can still fly. It's definitely worth it. So uh, here we go. Let's check it out. All right. So first off, I apologize for this horrible sound recording, but I'm just using the the uh, microphone on the computer. But anyway, so when you open this up, you'll get this. I just repaid mine again, so hopefully this goes away. This your membership has expired. Uh, anyway, so you got the news here: Rotor Rush Team Leagues Time Whoop. It's eSport League this week 19 November see the tiny root blah 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 and all kinds of cool stuff and when new tracks come up it'll be on here as well uh, speaking of tracks you go to the tracks and these are the all the guesses are the ones that are installed and then to install the other ones all you gotta do is click that so they're free to install once you pay I think again that's four pounds a month which is like five fifty six bucks something like that so the uh, just pay that monthly or you can pay you get a little bit of discount if you pay for the whole year, but there's loads of tracks on here. Uh, lots of tiny loop courses, which is what I like. And then if they, they got any live events going on or coming up, they'll put them in here. And then that's it. So the membership, it just tells you your status. This is my nickname, Ace of Axe. Big surprise there. And that's it. You can deactivate your software setup. All right, so Fly Solo. All that's been done with the mouse so far, but now you're using the transmitter. So um, you go through all these different quads. You can do a test pilot, uh, pro, intermediate, and that's all in the race drones type thing. And you got the novice and the S Sport in the 280 frames. These are 200, and these are 280s. And then you got the Tiny Whoop, the Tiny Whoop racer here, and then the Micro Drone 65, which I always use a Tiny Whoop racer. So you get just scroll up right, or actually just uh, right stick up. You know, your tiny whoop, select that, and you got all these different courses. So there you go. We'll go with the uh, Formula FEV Micro NEC. So this is the course that got me into tiny whooping. This is an actual course that they set up at the uh, UK Drone Show last year. I think it was 2016. Uh, anyway, but they set this up, and this is what got me addicted. So there you go. So we'll select that by one right stick up. And then to arm it, all you have to do is left stick right. There you go. And remember, I'm not a very good flyer, so I'll do what I can. You can see the ghost of me running through there. So if you miss the gate, you have to go back and get it. Well, obviously you don't have to, but if you want to do it, you don't have to go through that window either there. So, ah, I just missed that one. And I just passed me down to the fireplace. here that's one lap done and if it goes smooth enough I'll just let it keep going I'll do all three laps all right now go up you 
to get through, make sure you go through those pylons there. Oh, come on, stop flying like a frog. Alright, one more lap to go. Oh, I missed it. This is a problem when you miss it, and you gotta go back and fix it. Now I gotta catch me again. And try to get a better time, which ain't gonna happen. Ah, oh, I missed it again. Oh, wait. But I struggled last time. Through there, up, over. Through this. Yes! So, a new fastest thing. Um, not sure what the required nationality contact support, blah, blah, blah. But there you go. And then to get out of this, all you gotta do is hit escape, and it'll take you out of this track. All right, so when you get back from the tiny whoop, obviously you can pick other quads here. So I'm not very good with these, so I'm going to go with one of those. And we'll pick the new course here. I haven't done this one yet, so scroll up. All right. So I muted the sound of the quad so you can hear me talk about it. Uh, but anyway, so this is a new course. First time going through it. But basically you see what you got to do. Around the pylon and then dip through here. See if I can make it without screwing that up. Okay. Um, through these. Like I said, remember, I am not very good at this. <laughs> but if I can show you one lap, I'll be happy. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Alright, so back and forth here. Alright, I think this one's a low high so we'll go low and then we go high I can't even remember which way to go through that one and then this one I believe is a high yeah and then it goes a low there then around this this time and then once you like I said once you complete one race you do three laps without crashing uh, you'll get a ghost for the next one, so you'll be racing your best time, which is kind of cool. Alright, so stay low high with this. Let's see how that goes. And go through there. Get up there. Drop down, and a crash. Alright, so you get it. Alright, so last one. We're going to do one more whoop. Uh, tiny whoop. The office. That one gets kind of confusing, so we'll leave that. And we'll do the whoop house. Alright, so arm it up. And we're off. Drop it down here. Um, and yeah, like, you're not... This software is making these videos look a lot more glitchy than they actually are. So when you fly, it's going to look a lot smoother. So don't think because these videos are all like really hard to watch. Um, it's because of the software that I'm using to record with. The software for the actual uh, simulator is awesome. So when you're flying this, it feels like you're actually flying a tiny roof. It doesn't feel all glitchy like it's looking. So don't worry about that. Come on. But this thing definitely, like I said, it looks like I'm all over the place. But this is a thousand times better than I was when I first started flying on here. And it's actually made me a better flyer, as I'm saying that, as I'm totally screwing this up. But it's also made me a better flyer with uh, the actual tiny group as well. So definitely worth uh, the four pounds a month for me. And plus you get to fly through that. <laughs> I don't screw that up. I saw that coming. Alright, get up there. Oh, get off. Okay. Now I'm just trying to go faster than I'm capable of. Oh, let's go behind the door. Alright, uh, here we go. Last lap. Slow down. Alright, 
stop, reset. Smooth. Alright. Tom Love. Hi, get me there. I missed that, of course. Almost there. clear around the fastest time because <clears throat> I had to reset everything so anyway that's it um, so yeah awesome software really fun uh, you can just fly for days you can obviously explore you don't have to in there now we got a ghost flying with us that's just my last time so anyway that's it there you go so yeah there you go um it's just so much fun and you don't have to go outside so if it's raining or snowing or something where you are you can fly the sim this sims definitely helped me fly a lot i mean you just saw me bashing through there um not flying very well and didn't like i had very much skill but that's a lot better than when i first started with this thing so it's actually improved my uh, flying with the actual tiny whoop as well um so yeah you can fly uh with your own transmitter uh, like for me, I got the Tyrannus X9D, um, and it's just plugged in with a USB. So yeah, I definitely highly suggest this. It's um, it's really fun, and it's like I said, you can do it inside. Uh, I've flew some of the other ones, and it's kind of just like a a lot of them seem like they're just roaming. You just go fly around stuff and practice like flips and stuff, which is cool. But I'd rather have like courses to actually fly through. Maybe when I get there, I want to need I'll need to practice freestyle stuff. But right now, I'm just trying to get smooth and go through things. So it's really good for me. Like I said, it's not too expensive, and the tiny whoop thing has taken over the world. It seems like so it's really cool that you can fly those tiny whoops in situations where you'd be flying them in real life. So it's kind of cool. All right. So if it's your first time here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss the next one. And uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you. It means the world to me. I honestly can't thank you enough. So thank you. It's a lot of thank yous, but seriously, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so there you go. Any comments, questions, post them below. And uh, we'll see you out there later.